Let's review the WebEx app user experience with all the recommended features enabled. After the update, you'll simply log into the WebEx app with the same credentials you used previously for the desktop client, using two-factor authentication if required by your organization. One of the first decisions to make is do you want to work in light or dark mode? Open up Preferences in the upper left-hand corner and select Appearance. You'll see dark and light color combinations to choose from. Under the general menu, you can choose the landing screen you'd like to see when you first open the WebEx app. This can be easily changed to another workflow if you'd like. Move left to right across the Preferences menu for a series of options. Under Audio, Remove Background Noise is a great feature to use while working from home. Under Video, you can select and preview your camera and choose a background image. Customize your notification preferences. You'll see notification options for messaging, meeting, and calling. You'll want to make it easier for people to recognize you in WebEx by adding a picture to your profile. We'll review the other options available from this menu a bit later. With that prep work done, you are ready to start using the app. In the left-hand column, you'll see all the workflow options for messaging, calling, and meetings. Let's start by reviewing meetings. If you had used the WebEx desktop client in the past, this all will look very familiar. To start your personal room meeting, select Start a Meeting. You'll know instantly what to do here. Hit that green Start Meeting button and begin hosting your meeting. Remember, once in the meeting, you can enable captions, turn on real-time translations if added to your subscription, set breakout rooms, see people insights, and design your stage layout. Users will have a few options to join a meeting. From the top menu option, select Join a Meeting and enter the meeting ID or the name of the personal meeting room. Even easier, let's look at the calendar shown on the screen. Clicking on the calendar entry will open the meeting information and that familiar green Join button will let you simply join the WebEx. If you are the host of the meeting, a green Start button will appear in the meeting's calendar when it's time to start your meeting. You can also select the Schedule Meeting option to schedule a meeting at a specific date and time. You'll want to first select either Outlook or the WebEx App Scheduler under the main General Preferences menu for Meetings. Let's take a look at the WebEx App Scheduler. Simply enter the topic of the meeting, date, and time. As you add invitees, you'll see everyone's availability on the schedule, making it much easier to identify a time that works for your colleagues to collaborate. Under Advanced Settings, you can set the audio connection type. If for meeting etiquette reasons you don't want participants to control their own microphone, be sure to uncheck Allow Attendees to Unmute Themselves in the Meeting. Co-hosts are designated under the Advanced Settings Schedule Options menu. The Schedule Option menu also includes several other functions, including allowing attendees to join before the host, enabling breakout sessions, and automatically locking the meeting after it begins. Don't worry if you move out of the meeting's workflow and into the messaging workflow. Your meetings with the Start or Join option will appear at the top of your messages list. A variety of icons will alert your colleagues to your availability. Clicking on your profile picture in the upper left-hand corner of the app will open up some additional settings. You can mark yourself as Do Not Disturb and share your status with your colleagues. Let's take a look at messaging in the WebEx app next. When selecting the messaging workflow, the first column lists all messages. Users can decide if they'd prefer to have their one-to-one -one messages and team space messages shown in two separate groups. Under that same drop-down menu, see unread messages and notifications, at messages to me or to all, and any messages that have been flagged. It can be helpful to organize your favorite spaces on the top of the list. Right-click on a one-to-one -one message or space for more options. WebEx allows you to set notifications in two ways, for all spaces or for certain spaces. These settings work together so you can keep up to date with what's happening without getting overwhelmed. With the search bar at the top of the app, search your conversations to find people, spaces, messages, and files. Once in the space, options run left to right to show messages, people you are working with, and any content shared. 
Note, the search icon in the upper right-hand corner will search for content inside a conversation. An indicator will appear if you are collaborating with people outside of your organization. Messages are easily pinned, flagged, or marked as unread. When composing a message, you'll find a variety of text markup options to use. Your site admin will configure your content management options in Control Hub. Emojis and PG-rated GIFs, if your workplace allows them, can easily be added to your message. The WebEx app also includes calling. Your site admin will select the calling behavior for your organization in WebEx Control Hub. Note, some calling features will depend on your subscription type. There are two options for setting your calling preferences. Click Call Settings at the bottom of the screen or open the same menu from the General Preferences menu in the app. The first column on the screen shows all your calls. To place a call, simply enter the number onto the dial pad and hit the green call button. Once connected in a call, you'll see familiar functions such as hold, park, and transfer. In the messaging workflow, there are many options to place a call. See the calling icon at the top right of a one-to-one -one message or hover over someone's profile picture in a team space to launch a call. From the dial pad, you can locate a colleague with the type ahead search feature, choose the number you'd like to call, and designate it as an audio or video call. Once connected with a colleague, select Invite Guest to a Meeting to easily elevate the call to a WebEx, allowing more people to join in your discussion. Thanks for watching this introduction to the WebEx app.